What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are out at the shop and uh, there's lots more going on today. Uh, some parts came in and more cars came, some left. You can kind of see what Dover's doing over there. But we're gonna get into that in a minute. Uh, but a couple of updates. I've uh, actually made a deal on my car. Um, I'm trading the Pony R wheels. Yes, I know a lot of people wanted them, but I've kind of made a deal. Uh oh, there's Ken. Anyway, let's get back to uh, the subject at hand. Everybody wanted my Pony R wheels, mostly because they're really hard to find. They look fantastic on a Fox body, all that. Um, but I actually made a deal here locally for a fully, for a fully built rear end, C-clip eliminators, uh, Auburn heavy duty differential, 31 spline axles, the whole thing. Um, and of course it's five lug with disc brakes. So rear ends handled. Um, so the wheels are gone. Just please stop emailing me. I'm begging you. I get like 20 a day. No, not really. But anyway, hi Ken. What are you doing? <laughs> so, uh, that is part of what is going on. The other cool thing is, uh, Todd's car now has drag radials. So we'll be able to kind of see what that bad boy does. But anyway, we're going to introduce you to another car Dover bought. Another one, yes. Let's go. Hi, guys. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna vlog. You're gonna vlog? Yes. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. You go ahead and vlog. I'll, you I'll go just ahead. watch. No. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, we had to run over here because uh, Todd's got his radials on. We had to check them out. Look at those meaty bad mm. boys. Now we can just get them out the track. I know. They're shorter. The car looks better. Our car looks so much better. Digging the radials on Todd's car. Okay, go ahead, Ken, and I'll just watch. No, you're good. No, go ahead, Ken. Ken, go ahead and plug. All right, guys, so you're probably wondering, like, why is this car here? And the reason why this car is here, it's, it's a 91 uh, original 505 speed notch. Uh, it's had a ton of work done to it. As you can see, it's got Cobra brakes on it already. Uh, AGA key, uh, I can't talk today, AGEK member, um, UPR caster cambers. Um, it, it's had a lot of work done to it. It is wild strawberry uh, Five lug, but it's still got drums in the back stuff like that and So the reason this car is here um, the Guy messaged over Dover got a good deal on it um, But we're always getting people wanting to know if we have actual cars like done cars for sale So that's what we're gonna do with this car um, It's gonna be coyote uh, old engines right there And then we actually have a TKO 600 right here with the modular quick time bell housing there's my wheels ready for sale bye -bye wheels, huh? but bye bye wheels because we got to get yeah, that built rear end yeah. definitely and uh here's the engine out of the car not sure what we're gonna do what well, what are you gonna do with this engine there you go okay because we actually did have some comments people saying we needed to save that red gt so there's the engine for it now this engine is kind of different you know you've got a 90 millimeter throttle body tfsr intake Everything else is stock. Like, it's even got the stock crank pulley on it. But, uh, yeah, stock headers, I mean, craziness. It's sucking a lot in. Yeah, it's, 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 it's taking a lot in, but it's not getting a lot out. But, yeah, deep, deep breath. <laughs> but, so that is the plan for this car. It is gonna be painted back. It is a wild strawberry car. Uh, it's gonna get black interior, all the interiors out of it. Hold on, let me show the interior. Um, but this car is, is gonna be built to be sold um, just because there's a lot of people that want Coyote cars. Um, as you can see, original V8 car, it's gonna have black interior. Um, it's getting fresh wild strawberry paint. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a hell of a car. So Coyote TKO 600 and send it. It will be for sale. I have no idea what it's gonna, you know, what it's gonna bring as far as asking price or when it's gonna be done, but you'll be able to buy this car. So in the interest of having to go get my new rear end um, and finish wiring the car, my car is looking absolutely pitiful out here. Um, we've got the wheels off because we got to take those over to swap them for the 8.8 .8, and we had to take the engine back out to finish wiring. So it does look a little pitiful over here and it just breaks my heart to see it there, but it's okay. It's fine. It's good um, because my transmission is almost done and it won't be long. I promise. It won't be long. I think. I hope. Part. Mmm. Mmm. That is the Coyote Evap Delete. 
uh, my buddy Frank over by the hour, by the hour, like sent me a message of it. And he's like, dude, check these out. And I was like, oh, thanks, thanks a lot, Frank. Can you send me an invoice so I can get one of these? So oh, yeah, I got one. But yes, this is the Coyote EVAP delete plate. Goes right here, gets rid of this because you know we don't roll that way. But it actually just bolts in right there. You know, it's just one of those little details that just kind of make the car badass. And I want it to be badass. last night I was trying to get a track video you we failed I know dude, I did like we went out to the track last night and I get there thinking my cameras charged up I had no battery so I didn't get to do a track video but and he was supposed to record in car going down the track on right. his run. he got the very beginning and he got <sighs> so excited I like I failed I totally failed but <laughs> Ken how did the Roush charged eight uh, 17 how did it do uh, Ran the 748 with a passenger. Right. Uh, later on the night, the humidity started coming up, but still got a 739. Yeah. I tried to torque it up a few times, and it did spin, but they went back and prepped the track, but I had to run Philip. Yeah. And Philip is no joke. That car, he was running. He was running last so night. I wasn't going to chance spinning, so I left easy, ran a 739 against him. Crazy. But that was after they prepped it, so I really should have left hard. Yep. And got a better time, but... I played yeah. it safe. It, it it ran good. I rode in the car. If you caught the Instagram story, you got to kind of see some of it. But man, that's all. You know, it's one of those pulls like tightens up your gut, and you just know it's doing work. So it was fun, dude. I'll have another track video soon. Hopefully, it's with my car in the yes. video because I am so sick of going out to the track and watching everybody else run, and my car's in a million pieces. So I'm gonna stop whining now. No, you're not whining, bro. I, I want to be at the track. I want to run. I didn't. Okay guys, so one more thing on the wild strawberry notch that will be for sale for too long. These would be the wheels that are going on it. Yes, those are the Weld RTS. Got the slicks on it. It's going to be ready. So I'm telling you, when you see the wild strawberry car, which there's really no time frame. This is just something like the deal came up. We had some extra parts. So that's going to get put together, um, you know, for sale. But please don't message me now because I don't have any idea when it's going to be done or how much we're going to be asking for it. But it will be a sick car. It will be sitting on the RTS wheels. And it will have the TKO 600 trans and the Coyote uh, fresh paint, black interior. Like, it's, it's not going to be cheap. It's, it's going to be a beast. Uh, yeah. It's going to be awesome. And one more thing while we're down here. Yes, the 4i Windsor powered 86 is still here. It's just chilling. Just chilling. Got to fix some of these wirings up, but this car is going to run really good. So, in the meantime, we got to get back up here and we got to get this engine. God, there's a lot of cars here. We got to get this engine on the stand because up and coming is going to be some work on the stock Fox Body build. If you didn't see the uh, Fox Body 101 video, you need to go back and check that out because we got a lot of work on that. Well, I make sure Ken's not doing it. Ken has a tendency to go behind the camera and, and do stuff. So I only find out later when I'm editing. Alright guys, so that is pretty much what I've got for you today. Uh, we got the drivetrain stripped out of the wild strawberry 91 um, that build's gonna be kind of done in between some of the other stuff that we got going on um, transmission should be here anytime yes I know I say it a lot but it will be it is it's coming and um, we do actually have the control pack for mr. hanky so uh, we're gonna be doing that and we're also going to be getting uh, the stock build torn apart and uh, the first order business is gonna be replacing the transmission and get the car mobile and then we're going to start with a lot of little stuff so i promise you there is so much coming you do not want to miss what we got going on <sighs> we're going to need a nap with all these fox body builds no screw that we got to do work later guys